Hello everyone, TKC here, the Kaiju channel. It is now like 10 o'clock or something, and oh my god, I got Evil Fury stuff in a blue bag. Oh my goodness, I am so happy to finally open a little bit of this. I'll explain that later. But I'll just show you what I got here. So, um, I got a little anxious and opened one of the, the uh, what's it called again? The Tornado Generator deck, and I got another one too. So I have two of those. And then, um, also as a bonus, which is pretty awesome, I'm really happy they did this, I really appreciate it. They actually gave me a set of the, the badges from, uh, I think this was from way back, from the first league, from the, uh, Rise League. And I don't know if they included it with the Evo Fury, but, uh, they went ahead and gave me a set of these badges, and that's so awesome. Now I could actually, I don't know, put that on my awesome Kajudo shelf back there, and also just, I don't know, just show them off, they're really cool. I really like these. Very cool. My store is really awesome. Check Swing, they're like the best. And, uh, as you can imagine, uh, let's see here. So we got one Evo Fury box. We got two Evo Fury box. We got three Evo Fury boxes. And it just goes on. It's just, this is what made my bag so heavy today. Another one. And another one. And, oh no. It's the leaning tower, leaning tower of Evo Fury boxes and six wonderful case of Evo Fury. Okay, so here's what's going on with these six boxes. All right, so one of these I'm gonna open for myself. It's not gonna be all myself. Not really sure what we're gonna be doing, but we're pretty much gonna be sharing most of these cards. Um, so I'm gonna be opening one box for the channel. Rio Felix is probably gonna be opening another box, and then what we're gonna be doing with the other four boxes is we're actually gonna be using them for drafts and sealed and a bunch of awesome, fun limited games, so that we could get a better feel of how Evil Fury works in itself without having to deal with the, you know, the Rise cards and all the cards before that. And so we get a better understanding of these cards, and then maybe we can get better ideas on how these could work with the previous cards. So I think um, it works in two awesome ways. It works in a fun way, because, you know, draft is always fun. And at the same time, it helps us uh, to be better as a duelist to understand the card pool better. So I think it's a win-win situation. And, um, yeah, can't wait to open uh, one of them for myself. So I don't know which one I'm going to take. I... This is the only one that's upside down, so I think I might be taking this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to open this one right now. Alright, time to open this bad boy up. Box opening time, let's go. And, rawr, Tetsuri on, which you can't even see anymore. Alright, so let's see what the loose foil is. Where is the loose foil? It should be like... There it is. Ooh, hello. We got... Flame Spike Tetsuri on as the loose foil. That's so awesome. I know Real Felix will really like this card, because he really likes nature and fire, so... uh I'm sure he'll like to play with these more than I do, so yeah, awesome, Flame Spike. And if it works the same way as before, um, there should be another Flame Spike Tetsuron in here as well. From what I've been seeing in all the other boxes, that's pretty much how it works. Alright, so we got Heat Seekers, Prickleback, Swamp Stenchworm, Cyber Sprite, Cliff Cutter, Rare is Chimera Tyrant, and we got no other rare. Halon and Gunwing Dragon. These packs actually not look too bad, you know, they're they're kind of cool. I mean, they're still the same color, which I think they're going to have to change eventually, but uh, overall the pack design looks pretty cool. Alright, so we got Jet Flame Bodyguard, Photon Squad, Cyber Trader, Reap and Sow, awesome. This is actually my second one because I, I got really uh, hectic and I opened the uh, the pack inside the first deck. And I got another one there too, so that's really cool. Chasm Entangler, the rare Tendril Grasp. It's this is a pretty cool card. I think it's pretty underrated, so definitely something to look out for. And ooh, very rare. Forklift Tank Lurgle. Awesome. And we also got Laser Arm Dracon and Hydra Medusa. Woo! First Hydra Medusa. Let's try to speed things up a little bit. Cloudwalker Drone, Search the Depths, Swamp Stench Worm, Heat Seekers. Heal Rings, this is actually pretty cool. I have a good idea of where to put this uh, in a deck. And the rare King Neptis, pretty cool card. Can't be targeted by your opponent's spells and abilities, which is pretty neat. And it has 5,000 power. No double breaker, of course, but, uh, you know, it's a pretty neat ability. And we got Silver Fist, Sopan, and another Hydra Producer. Sweet. Okay, we have Sliff. Um... I don't really like this card, but anyway, it's kind of cool. Uh, another Reap and Sow, sweet! Cyber Sprite, Cloudwalker Drone, 
Illusory Berry and the rare. Ooh, Return from Beyond. This one's been getting a lot of hype. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it. I, I don't want to, like, I don't like it too much, but it's a very interesting effect, and uh, I think it's definitely worth trying. It's a pretty interesting card. Um, and we also got Starwing, Bronze Arm Sabertooth, very awesome, and Laser Arm Dracon. Yeah, most of my uncommons have been these awesome evolutions, so that's pretty cool. Uh, still no super, I don't think. Cloudwalker Drone, Heat Seekers, Prickleback. This is actually really awesome. I'm very excited to play this. It's pretty much Hardy Cap and Polygon, but it's a beast skin now. It's such a better race. Swamp Stench Worm, Cyber Sprite. The rare is Aquatic Expulsion. All right. And, ooh, very rare Big Hissy. Yay, Big Hissy. Pretty cool. I like his effect. I don't know. It's pretty neat. You get, like, a two turns quicker Morna, which is, you know, not that bad. I really like it. i put that with the Glurgle, Silver Fist, and Scavenging Chimera. And, whoops, I just took two packs there. Where are the supers? I have no idea. I haven't seen a single one yet. Giga Xanda, Cloudwalker Drone, Moonhowler Tribe, Cyber Sprite, Slith... Rare Lava Leaper. It's pretty neat. It's like Kook Palan kind of, but it's more like only three thousand power or less. So it's more like an like an early game Kook Palan kind of. But oh oh wait, there's a super here now. What is the super? Is it gonna be the Flame Spike? No. <gasps> Ooh, Evil Fury Tatsurion. Oh sweet. This is gonna be fun. So now we already have one out of the six boxes. So that's very sweet. I hope we have a place out of these or place of everything rather. But yeah. Locomotivator, yeah. And Dracon War Chief. Alright, so we got the first super. So if everything works the same. Oh wait, the rare. Um what I'm thinking is because the loose foil was a super, um, there's probably only gonna be the flame spike and that's it. I don't think there's gonna be any other supers besides the flame spike coming up, but who knows? Ooh, is this the wrong way? Evo tip! When an evolution creature leaves the battle zone, all of its cards go with it. So if it's returned to your hand, all of its cards go to your hand. Anyway, okay, let's get that aside. Prickleback, Rapids Lurker, okay, I love this guy. Rapids Lurker, ah, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, Giga Balver, Heat Seekers, Chasm Entangler, the rare, another Tendril Grass, very cool. Hydra Medusa, yay, I already have a playset. Sweet! Uh, Dracon Warchief. And Emperor Axon, which actually doesn't matter because you could just get one of the uh, Tornado Generator decks and you get three of these, so. Yeah, anyways, still neat. Cliff Cutter. It's actually gonna be pretty good, it's a cheap Dracon, so. Uh, so we got Cliff Cutter, Giga Xanda, Cloudwalker Drone, Illusory Berry, Rapids River, <laughs> and Forset Heroic Shaman. This is really cool. Earth Power is going to really like this because it's alternate art Torcon. It may not be the original Torcon, but it is Torcon, and I almost knocked my camera over, so uh, it's pretty cool. Can't attack creatures, though, but hey, cool. Uh, Snapclaw, Mega Bugs, yeah. Gunwing Dragon, and Starwing. Alright, yeah, that's what I like to see. So I think that completes my playset of Reap and So. Search the Depths. Jet Thrust Starter, this is really cool. It's Rikabu the Dismantler, but now it's a Dune Gecko, which, I mean, if it was a Dracon, it'd be crazy, but it's a Dune Gecko. Chimera, Moonhauer Tribe, and uh, Rare's Twilight Commander. Cool, you get this in the deck as well. And, oh, here's another Super. Oh, and it's not Flame Spike. It's Orion Radiant Fury. Oh, goodness. This is awesome. Now, if only I could get Lepidos the Ancient. So I could combo with this really well, but, uh, hey, this is awesome. Oh, this beast. I love this guy. Locomotivator, Laser Arm Dracon. So wait, is this box actually going to have three supers with an extra super foil? That is ridiculous if that's what's going to happen here. I chose a really good box. Uh, let's see. Cyber Trader, Giga Xanda. Here's the rare Neurons Oracle. I... I honestly don't know why this is a rare, but, uh, you know, you always gotta have that one rare that, or a couple rares that you just don't really want. Kind of like, uh, not Brave Giant, but, uh, I don't know, stuff like that. You know what I mean. Interesting. You look at the top card of each player's deck. I, I, I mean, I don't know. Don't know what to say about that. Oh, I just dropped a really good card. Reef Gladiator. 
This is Angler Cluster from the original game, but better because you could also draw a card when you block with it. That is so cool. I'm definitely pumped to play this in a mono water deck. It's pretty cool. Um, Scavenging Chimera and Prism Blade Enforcer. So we're getting close to about half the box now. Uh, Cloudwalker Drone, Giga Xanda, Illusory Berry, Rapids of Aurora, Giga Balver, and the various Twin Cannon Sky Terror. Just kidding. Uh, Maelstrom, Maelstrom, Twin Cannon, Maelstrom. Uh, all your other creatures have powerful attack 2000. Interesting. I don't know. Uh, Bronze Arm Saber Tooth, Reef Gladiator, and Emperor Axon. I think this is the halfway point now. Moon Howler Tribe, Photon Squad, Jethro Starter, Giga Balver, Prickleback, Return from Brianna. So I got two of those now. It's pretty cool. And, ooh, Cobalt the Storm Knight. I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, top card of your deck into shields. I mean, it's, it's pretty decent. You know, a nice free shield. It's enforcers as well, so enforcers are pretty cool. It's pretty cool to go along with your spark blade and even Halon if you want to. Starwing, Prism, Blade Enforcer. Uh, what I really want is Lepidos the Ancient, though. Like, I really want that. That's probably my favorite card of the set. I haven't seen one yet. Uh, so, that's what I'm looking forward to the most, if I could get it. Granite, Avenger... Double Breaker. It's just a Double Breaker. It's pretty much a uh, brave giant. Big dumb idiot. But now he's, you know, a bigger dumb idiot because he has more power. Yeah. Halon. Hydra Medusa. And Snapclaw. So now I got four Hydra Medusas. That's just out of one box, too. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Helios Rings. Rapid Lurker. Rush 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 Slith. Jeff Lane Bodyguard. Cyber Trader. Recharge. Um... I actually don't like this as much as Sundrop armor from the original game. I mean, cool, you don't lose a card in your hand, and it's a top card of your deck instead, but the whole point of Sundrop armor was to be able to drop, like, Terror Pit or Storm Spark Blast or just good shield blasts into your shields so that you get, you know, a free shield blast effect. But this is top of the deck, so now it's kind of random. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. It's it's a card. Uh, Bronze Arm, Saber Tooth, Gunwing Dragon, and Snap Claw. So yeah, like the, there should be one more super in here, and I'm thinking it is Flame Spike, but maybe that theory is gonna be thrown out the window soon. Uh, Giga Balver, that Photon Squad, Cyber Trader, Giga Zanda, the rare, another Torcon, and Gunwing Dragon, Silver Fist, Emperor Axon. <laughs> I can't wait to see the, like, I can't wait to, like, actually sort my cards out and see if there's any cards that appear less in packs than others. I'm kind of interested in that. Cyber Sprite. I love how they released two different Merino Mancer cards, but they're not Merino Mancer, which makes me so mad. Like, this is Aquin's art, which was, like, a better Merino Mancer, and then they released Cyber Trader, which is the original Merino Mancer, and, like, they both don't do what they do, but they're both really good anyway. Um... Jeff Flame Bodyguard, Cloudwalker Drone, Prickleback, Rares Neurons, Oracle, and Laser Arm Dracon. I think it's going to be really awesome. I don't know, I just really like this card. A level 3 Double Breaker, that is just insane. And Starwing, which I also think is pretty awesome. Uh, Starwing and Twilight Commander, cheap uh, bait for Ravu the Stormbringer. Ah, well, there's probably not a super in here. Swamp Stench Worm, Jeff Lane Bodyguard, Photon Squad, Prickleback, <laughs> Giga Balver, Granite Avenger, Halon, Scavenging Camera. Coming down the home stretch. Let's see how many packs do we have left? Got seven more. Alright. Come on, Lepidos. Come on, another super. Which is probably going to be Flame Spike, but who knows. Uh, Moonhauer Tribe, Jet Thrust Starter, Helios Rings, Cyber Trader. Giga Balver, Rare Shock Sentinel. Whenever one of your evolution creatures is in the battle zone, tap target enemy creature. Eh, I mean, it's like a starter strategist for evolutions, but they don't really uh, come out as often as uh, Skyforce champions do. War Chief, Snapclaw, and Gladiator. Okay, so let's see. How many foils do we have so far? We have five, and that doesn't include the other one, the uh, Flame Spike. So there should be... There should be three more left. There should be like a super and two more berries, but I don't know. I think that's what's going to happen. 
considering I got two supers that are not flame spike, I'm pretty sure one of them is going to be flame spike and the other two, hopefully one of them is going to be Lepidos. Uh, Heat Seekers, Chasm Entangler, Reap and Sow, woohoo, Search of Depths, Jet Thrust Starter, King Neptus as the rare, and nope, uh, where are they? Locomotivator, Reef Gladiator. Ah, <laughs> how many packs left now? Four packs left. Oh, jeez. So, maybe only two then. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the theory about the loose foil being in here as well is not true for this set. We'll have to see. Coming down the home stretch. Recharges the rare. Come on. Please. Oh, hello. Screeching Scare Adorable. That looks really cool. I love Squeaky. Hee hee hee. What does this effect do again? Let's see. Let's just focus in on that. When this creature enters the battle zone, choose target enemy creature. If it's level 2 or less, banish it. Otherwise, it can't block this turn. Yeah, that is awesome. <laughs> That's like way better than Venomworm, if you remember that card. This card is two levels cheaper than Venomworm, and more power, and an awesome ability. It's like, oh, if it's not level 2, well, you know what? It can't block. And if it is level 2, die. Oh, it's so good. Uh, Prison Blade Enforcer and Locomotivator. Okay, so this probably means I'm not getting Lepidos. I think I got every very rare except my favorite one, which kind of makes me sad. Uh, Chasm Entangler, Slith, Search the Deaths, Jethro Starter, Moonhaller Tribe, Camera Tyrant is the rare. Is there a super here? Nope, not even that. Okay, we got Bronze Arm, Emperor Axon, and Scavenging Chimera. Okay, two more packs. Please, Lepidos, that would be so awesome. Reap and Sow, Helios Rings, Mono Tribe, War -her -her -her. Cliff Cutter, Lava Leaper is the rare, and uh, oh, super. Okay, yeah, so the theory is actually real. There you go, there's the Flame Spike Tetsu around again. So I got two of those. Uh, where's the other one? I'll put the other one down here. So there's two of those. Cute. Ryu Felix is going to love these. Uh, me, not so much. I mean, uh, they're awesome, but I, I want Lepidos and I want the uh, I want Emperor Neurons. But anyway, that's cool. Uh, Laser Arm Dracon and Dracon Warchief. Yeah, th this box should have definitely been opened by Ryu Felix, not me. So he's probably going to open a box that I would like, and I'm opening a box that he would like. But yeah. Slith. Reapenso. Swamp Stench Worm. Cyber Sprite. Cliff Cutter. Photon Squad. Rarest Twilight Commander. That was six common, so there's not going to be anything behind this. Twilight Commander, Starwing, Bronze Arm, Saber Tooth. And there you have it. Bunch of awesome cards everywhere. Whoa, packs and box and code cards and blah, everything. Okay, um, I'm an idiot. I actually forgot one pack. Uh, it was hiding under a bunch of scrap, and uh, I don't know how I missed this, but there's another one, so I got to open it. Maybe this one will have the Lepidos that I really wanted, but uh, I'm having my doubts. So we got Cliff Cutter, or even so, I got like five of these at least. Uh, Swamp Stench Worm, Jet Flame Bodyguard, Photon Squad. Ooh, okay, that makes up for it. I got Blast Forge Captain. Woo! Awesome Dragon. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Is there going to be anything else in here? Oh, is it? Is it Lepidos? It's destiny! This is destiny! <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> oh my god, I don't even care what the other cards are. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I forget one pack and I could have like thrown that in the garbage and Lepidos was in it. Oh my god. That is hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. So check it out. I got one of each one. That is so cool. <laughs> yes, Leffy knows. Oh my god. Oh, sometimes, just sometimes, that was epic. Like, that couldn't have been any more epic at the end. Oh my goodness. Like, once I saw that extra pack, I'm like, oh god, if this is Lepidos in here, I'm gonna go crazy. And I just did. Oh, yes, okay. Alright, TKC signing off. See you later, guys. Evil Fury!